Well, hey everybody, Martika here with Martika J Makes and welcome. So this past weekend, I did catch Joanne sell uh, that they had on Butterick and Vogue. Butterick was $1.99, Vogue was $5.99 as usual. And I did pick up just a few Butterick patterns. Uh, there wasn't really any Vogue patterns that was screaming for me to go ahead and grab them. But I remember the last Butterick sell, my particular Joann's did not have the newest patterns that they had out, but this time they did. So I still had my list from the last time that I went to the Butter Excel. And then also I had uh, some other things on the list too, but sometimes when you go into the store and you pull the pattern and actually look at the pattern in person, it doesn't speak to you the same. So there was quite a few that I did put back. So I just picked up a few, probably about six maybe. So I'm gonna share these with you um, and show you what I did get. So I uh, finally got my hands on Butterick 6943. And that is this top right here. You guys, I love this top. And I even, that is View B. I even enjoy View A um, on this top. It's just a relaxed, um, looks like, like a, a really relaxed top. Uh, something that you can definitely, you know, dress up with a, a pair of slacks, you know, or you can dress this short sleeve one down. Love the button down, but not too many buttons. As you can see, just four buttons in this pattern. And the fabric that they call for in this pattern is uh, Batiste, Chambray, Gauze, Linen, Rayon, Chalice. So that's all that is called for. And then due to the bust measurements, um, I did pick up pattern size eight through 16 in this particular pattern. So yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how this comes together. And then the next one that I picked up, because as you guys know, I always go to the website first, make my list, and then go to Joann's. Very seldom do I stand there and thumb through the book because I get in a lot of trouble doing that. But I spotted this one and I guess I must have missed it last time. Uh, but this is a knit lounge top, dress and pants. And it is Butterick 6945. I did not see this before. It definitely would have been on my list. Um, I love everything about this pattern. You guys know I love me a, a nice lounge set, which is of U, A, and C here. Very, very cute. And then here's the dress uh, for it, View B. So you can do just this top by itself, or you can do View B. You can do this as a dress, or I can even see this like as a tunic top. Um, if you wanted to shorten it a little bit and throw it on like with some leggings or jeggings or something like that. Very, very cute. And the fact that it called for knits makes it even better. And the fabric um, is moderate stretch knits, uh, like cotton interlock, French terry, jersey, and all of that. So you have your stretch guide here, of course, that you want to follow. And due to the bust measurements, um, I chose patterns, um, well, I had to choose patterns, <laughs> uh, size eight through 16 once again. And then that also um, made room for the hip area too for the pants. So that one is gonna be a lot of fun to sew up. And then I picked up, you know, I love a wardrobe pattern. So I picked up Butterick 6948. Um, due to all measurements, uh, I got the pattern size eight through 16. And that is this wardrobe type pattern here. You guys, this is the cutest, so cute. It was really this really cute little fun dress that caught my eye. And then I love like the coat jacket or vest jacket, whatever you wanna call it. You can uh, make this into a dress. You have your top and your capris there. Just so many ways to mix and match this pattern. Um, I even see like she put the uh, dress with this uh, jacket here, or like I say, wear this as a dress you could also put it with this one too you know the sleeveless vest so many options with this one here and um this one it has like 
different um, fabric suggestions uh, for fabrics uh, for views A, B, and E, which is, this is view A, this one is view A, then you have view B, which is right here, and then view E, which I'm guessing is the pants here. They are asking for cotton, twill, linen, sateen, and silk. Uh, those are the suggestions. And then C and D, which is, um, D is the dress right there. And then C is the top right there. That is uh, suggesting moderate stretch knits and uh, like jersey, ponte, uh, ponte knit, uh, rib knit, yeah, just those type of knits. So, and lightweight interfacing is needed for this. So, this is going to be a fun one too. I could see myself just sitting down and sewing up this entire uh, pattern here and having a lot of mix and matches. The next one I picked up was this cute little dress, um, Butterick 6928, and I grabbed size 8 through 16 due to the bust measurements, and that is this dress right here. It's like a faux wrap dress um, in a way, and uh, well, it is a faux wrap dress, <laughs> and uh, I love the collar effect on this one, you know, and then, you know, you, you don't have all the bulk bulkiness around the neckline there, but it does go like into that faux wrap. Uh, you kind of had a, have a little fitted waist there and then a flare. You could do this in the short or in the long. Very, very cute. It shows you how it looks in a solid and in a print. And I think it looks really cute in both. And the fabric suggested for this is linen blends, crepe, jersey, crepe de chine. And um, then you need a lightweight interfacing. Now, I would say that looking at this, I think that even like a stable knit, you know, a knit with, without so much stretch would also be ideal for this too. I know I would try it. So yeah, that is, that's gonna be really cute, really easy. It looks like um, to put, and it is labeled as easy. So the last two that I got was some older patterns. And the, this one, um, I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, so I did kind of thumb through the book just a little bit and I did spot this top. It is a really old one and it's fast and easy. Uh, Butterick 6214. And you guys, it was this top right here that caught my eye. It looked really easy, uh, looked like a great pattern for like scrap fabric that you might have because of the color blocking there. Uh, you of course have all of these other views, but like I said, it was this one that caught my eye. And I like the fact that she does have it on like with some jeans, you know, so you can see the casual effect that it does give. I love tops like this because they're so easy to just throw on, throw on a pair of jeans and go out the door sandals tennis shoes whatever just a really really cute top and a great great scrap buster so um yeah i'm gonna be going through my scrap fabrics which is what i'm trying to do here just to get rid of some fabric that's in my house uh looks like some of them's gonna end up being donated <laughs> but the fabric suggestions for this particular top is chalice um cotton knits, linen, and rayon. So that is what is suggested for this particular pattern. And last but not least, it's another old one that I don't think I've even seen before. Probably because I just did not really just thumb through the Butterick uh, patterns like I do, like McCall's and Simplicity. But this is uh, Butterick 6750. And because of the hip measurement, I grabbed this in size um, extra small. Uh, small and medium and then that's the same size for this one too but 6750 is this pattern right here I'm sure if you've been sewing a while you have probably seen this pattern I missed it some kind of way but I got it because of these pants right here and yes there are pants in I believe the McCall's and probably the Simplicity line too that is along this line I think I even have a pattern that's kind of like this but I just love the look of it and it's elastic waist you guys 
that's another reason why I grabbed it because the waist is elastic but um yeah just really really cute and I love the way that they did this in both views this one almost looks like a jumpsuit like a color blocking but um yeah really really cute um the fabrics that suggested for this one is for a and b which is well you have a which you can make shorts out of it okay if you wanted to cut them short but b is this one right here they are suggesting border prints so the border prints is like the fabric that have the prints like on the border of it which is probably what that was and then for uh c and d they are suggesting chalet georgette linen fele or fell and uh, that's F-A-I-L-L-E. Y'all know I'm still getting my pronunciations together of these. And that's pretty much it. I would say like for these silky types, you know, that's what I would do. Um, uh, just uh, just as long as it drapes, because I think something like that definitely needs to drape. So yeah, really, really cute pattern. So yeah, that is my Butterick haul, you guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, never 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 um just skip on the opportunity of going in there and looking for old patterns that you might have missed because as you can see i got a couple of really good ones so i always like to go and see if i miss something or even see if they might have brought something back that could be the case too so um yeah don't miss out on an opportunity so Thank you for joining. Uh, thank you for watching this video. To my new subscribers, thank you. My old subscribers, thank you. I appreciate you all so, so very much. And uh, yeah, have a great day, you guys. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.